It's safe to say that most people enjoy a burst of caffeine to keep them going throughout the day, whether it's in coffee, tea, or pop. A lot of young adults, though, are switching to caffeinated energy drinks. But studies have shown that caffeine overdose is becoming a problem, and the long-term health effects are unknown. The concentration of caffeine in some energy drinks can be up to three times what you'd get in a large coffee. Well, most of them have a minimum of 180 milligrams, um, and uh, some of them have upwards to you know 350, which is a lot. So if you're looking at a large Tim Hortons cup of coffee, which we all sort of know about, you know we've got about 100 to 120 milligrams caffeine. Um, one small Red Bull has got 120 milligrams caffeine. It's the very same. And so, but if you're drinking some of those double-sized ones, uh, which most people are, so there is a lot of, in that market. Um, you're doubling that. You know, so it's kind of like two large coffees, and some individuals, you know, will have more than more than one of those in the run of a day, and maybe several. Advertising campaigns have targeted young men with name brands like Full Throttle, Amp Energy, and Monster, almost in an attempt to appeal to their masculinity. Their logos are plastered all over extreme sporting events like mixed martial arts and Ultimate Fighting Championships. These drinks can be beneficial in small amounts. But Dr. Young says they become problematic when people start substituting them for water or mixing them with drinks like alcohol. When it comes to mixing uh, a sports drink with alcohol, I mean, then you get the added benefit of the diuretic from alcohol alone, right? So then not only does alcohol uh, dehydrate your body, it also dehydrates your brain. And that's some of the, some of the effects of the alcohol come from that. Um, the, the effect combined with another diuretic you know, a caffeinated product of any kind, especially several caffeinated products at once, um, can give you one. It would make your hangover, so to speak, quite a bit worse than it would otherwise, because that's usually on the basis of uh, of, a, of your dehydration. Um, and two, it makes the effects of the alcohol probably somewhat intensified. This is just the first part of a documentary we'll be producing in the coming months. We'll also look to investigate advertising regulations around the world, as well as the potential for caffeine users to suffer from caffeinosis, something Dr. Young says is common among the elderly and university students. Stay tuned for more.